Happy New Year, Happy New Decade, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. I can't believe it, but it is a new decade we are entering. So brand new life. What do you want? How do you, what do you want your life to look like the next 10 years, the next decade? What have you learned from the past that you're moving forward with? One last look and moving into this new life. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest behind. Whenever you're listening to this is the perfect time for you. This is meant to be the energy of the next four to five weeks. So just see how life unfolds. And I wish you many blessings in this new year. I've been really feeling the fairies and the elementals, Mother Earth, the animals, nature. So connecting with nature will help you, will help you find that peace. The universe is bringing you, offering you the abundance, the truth, the clarity, the confidence, the strength you need to move forward. And you're never too old for a fairy tale. You're never too old for the love of your life, for what you've always dreamed to do career-wise. Never, never, ever. Let's see what the uh, beginning messages for you are, Gemini. Highest and best from the fairies. Wow. Holy moly. Okay, well, debt paid off. The old weight and habit of old debt is lifted from your, your life. So money coming in to pay off debt. This also is representative of emotional debt. To me, I feel like some of you are leaving a relationship behind, leaving toxicity behind, leaving codependencies, um, addictions, the way you're thinking, self-imposed restrictions, letting go of people that aren't serving you, rising above it all, seeing things from spirit's perspective. So you're going to be blessed in the material world, in your emotional, mental body, and in your spiritual growth. Okay, well, okay, let's see. First of all, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. So I feel a lot of heart healing here. Just introspection and then moving forward. Ask for what you want. Let the universe and other people know what you need. So ask and you shall receive. Admit it. Say it out loud. Springtime, your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. So no matter wherever you're at, springtime has some significance. Maybe a baby is going to be born. Maybe you're birthing a new project or idea. But I really feel like by the springtime, you're either going to make the decision to move forward and get married, get engaged, bring your relationship to a higher level. You're going to meet your true divine sacred partner if you haven't. Something about from now into the springtime. The fairies join you in celebrating wedding bliss, okay? So perhaps you're getting married in the spring or you're going to meet that person at a wedding in the spring. Something about the spring, something about celebrations, but higher level of commitment, your true divine sacred partner coming into your life and finally being united in the physical. What did I say? You're never too old for a fairy tale. Wishes do come true. Maybe you're going to renew your vows in the springtime and you're revving it up in the relationship you're in. Whatever the case may be, take it as it resonates. And we're just going to get a feel for what's going on, what's coming in, whatever the message is, whatever I channel, whatever they want you to know. Highest and best for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Queen of Winter. Queen of Swords, that's you, Gemini. Whether you're a man or woman, this is that clarity and truth, tapping into your intuition, balanced in your head and heart space. This is independence. I did feel that somebody's leaving a relationship and they're becoming independent. Perhaps you're leaving behind a Queen of Swords if you're a masculine. You're like, I do not want this kind of energy anymore. She was perhaps in lower vibrations, and I'm feeling for someone just very harsh, not loving, not generous, not kind, not giving of herself, just very shut off, very cold, moving away from the cold into the light, okay? If that resonates. If not, this is you standing in your power. You have the clarity and truth that you need. You're, you're self-sufficient. You can move forward in this independence. You're funny and witty at times. You have a dry sense of humor, but people appreciate that. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. That's that rising above, letting go. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. There you go. But what I feel like if you are getting a divorce 
or you are unmarried and you're single and you're focusing on your career, you're moving forward, you're doing the best you can, you're admitting that you do want love, that that's going to come. So, And I do feel like for some of you it's admitting that love is important. Perhaps you've been independent and kind of on your own, in the dark, in the cold for a while, and it's like the clarity and truth is, no, I, I, I do want love. I do, a pre I do want a true partner who loves me and adores me and is there for me that I can be romantic with and share this sacred sexual union with. I do want this. Look at that. Taking charge. Stepping into your power. The world is yours. Open to love. What did I just feel? You're open to love again. Using logic and structure to increase your success. So perhaps you're, you're getting organized with your life, right? Focusing on your career, focusing on your health, focusing on moving forward, opening your heart again, and there it comes. Look at the universe whoop, blessing you with healing, blessing you with um, this energy that's surging through you to help you take charge. And look at this. Okay. The Ace of Cups. This is a brand new life. What did I say? Open your heart to love. And the first line says, open your heart to love the beginning of a new intimate relationship or a rebirth of the current one. That's what I felt up here. Oh my gosh, Gemini. The star. Wishes coming true. Eight. One plus seven. Eight. Manifesting abundance in the physical world. Manifesting healing. Restoration, peace, balance, wishes coming true in love. Look to the future with hope and optimism. Hold your vision. You have the faith. Tap into your faith. It will move mountains. Things are working out for you. New beginnings. The universe is offering you this brand new beginning in love. Loving your life again. Loving yourself. This is unconditional love being restored and revitalized. No longer feeling of lack. Being able to give to others now because you've brought yourself to a place of balance. If you need assistance in moving forward, reach out. There's people to help you. Okay, may not be the best time to just drop one job, but focus on what you want. But what I'm really feeling is that you are going to be helping others. You may have been in this poverty mindset, like I don't have enough love to offer. I'm really feeling not money wise for you. It could be money, but I'm really feeling because of this green energy and earth energy. And this healing, rising above, open to love again, open your heart. I feel like this you're opening your heart to others. You're being more generous with your heart. You're being more loving and kind and compassionate. And look at the bottom of the Empress, see? Luxury, the life of luxury, whoa. Okay, a little too chunky, but we're going to take this, yeah. Being distracted and failing to see the magical opportunity, taking someone or something for granted, discontented with life. It's like the universe begging you to look towards this cup. See, that's the cup. The four of cups is usually the three cups spilled in the one cup that the universe is magically offering you that comes out of nowhere. That's this ace of cups. So in this, the next four to five weeks, seemingly out of nowhere, there's an offer that's going to be made or an opportunity for you to make an offer and be open to love. And it's a very gen generous and kind, unconditional love that you've been praying for, that you've been wanting, this divine union. And it's going to be offered to you. So please open up your eyes and see the offer. That's the key here is, is instead of focusing on the lack, instead of focusing on what hasn't worked out, you need to move your attention, allow yourself to heal and move your attention towards what is working out. And what is literally right in front of your face, Gemini. Because victory is yours. You're going to be recognized publicly. This could be a public display of love coming in. A wonderful news about your career. Being, stepping into the spotlight. You are the star. Stepping into what you're meant to do. And it's going to be very successful. But I really do feel in the love department, if that's what you're interested in, that this is like a public, you're either making a, making it public, like this is who I want, this is who I know is my person, or someone's making it public to you. This is that clarity coming in, Give it, you know. It's something that's going to be stable. You know, Princess of Autumn is a youthful energy. It could be a child. It could be a part of your plan. But I just feel like an offer. See that offer, this Ace of Cups, and then another offer. You see that pentacle that's basically magically flying into your hand? Because you've done the work and you're finally looking up from the focus that you once had and looking to the universe, looking another direction.
than you have been looking, and that's the key is your shift of perception. But happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships are coming your way. So happy news in the abundant, uh, of abundance in the material world is coming your way. Perhaps this emperor energy is you or it's your divine partner coming in and making this offer. I just feel this offer. Wishes coming true. And everything is... In some way, shape, or form, every sign I've done so far has gotten the eight of spring, the eight of wands. So there's fast-moving energy right now in this new year, in this new decade. Um, it may be a little stressed from having so many things happening at once, but you're going to be successful with this. Sudden events or changes, a lot of things are changing in your life or will be, but you're going to manage it very well. And it's just asking for help when you need it, reaching out to others, delegating. But this is fast-moving, passionate energy, leveling up spiritually. This is the passion, the love coming in this offer. I'm telling you, it's there. It's, it's there. Do you see it? Are you seeing it? Do you have your eyes open? This is too much, but strength in the world came out. So new beginnings and the world is yours. Okay, you're strong enough to do this. You have the strength. A few more cards, please, Spirit, for Gemini. A few more cards for Gemini. The Eight of Autumn, yep. Moving forward, step by step. Um, you may be doing more research. Like, is this where I want to stay in my career? Is this the relationship that I want? Is this really how I want to spend my next 10 years? And this is contemplation and then making the changes, going after it. And it might be a lot of changes, okay? But it's it's long-term goals, things that you've been working on for a while, things that you've been dreaming about and manifesting for quite some time are coming into the physical. And we, you know, the energy is always changing. That's why these readings are similar but could be very different because people have free will they make de decisions every day to change their life you're making decisions every day so it's always good to give yourself a little check what are my wishes what are my dreams now because i'm evolving so they're different now what do i really want in my life now well i want love i want to be open to love so love is coming in okay two more cards please spirit okay three we'll take the three Fast moving energy forward, balance, being recognized, being in the spotlight. Again, you're the star, you're in the spotlight, something about public recognition, something about a public display of affection, something something about that. And in every picture, it just so happens in this deck, it's the feminine, 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 feminine. So perhaps the feminine is making the decision to move forward towards this, right? celebrating the successes, really stepping into the spotlight. And the masculine is like, oh, I see you now, girl. I see you now. And I'm coming in and I'm going to make an offer that's grounded and stable. And, and I want you and I want only you. And I'm going to offer you everything I have because I know the love that you have, that unconditional love, that passion, that creativity, that true divine light shining from you is what I want. So this is a, this is your masculine within you, or this is a, you are the masculine, and you are charging forward toward your feminine, away from what's not serving you, towards your wish fulfillment, towards this divine union, or there's a masculine coming in. Either way you look at it, it's movement forward in the material world. Abundance coming in, better health coming in. This is a, a really good father figure making an offer. Being cautious, that's why it may take a little time. But I feel like there's movement, fast moving for, movement forward this month. And this is the, the king of autumn is the emperor in spiritual form, the archetype, the true divine masculine in coming into the physical. And that's either you or that's your partner. And in some way, shape, or form, every reading, Aries, Taurus, and you, Gemini, has gotten the king or the queen of pentacles. So really finding your abundance and feeling good in the material world. For the collective. Okay, let's get some clarifying energy here. The magician. Yep, you're the magician. You know it. You're taking charge. You're in control. You're manifesting your dreams. They're becoming a reality. You're no longer hiding anymore. You're going to come out in the open with this. 
heart healing, clarity on what to, what you want to move forward to, twin flame soulmate recognition, and working with infinite intelligence with God, with source energy to bring things into the physical. New beginnings, page of pentacles, there we go. New beginnings, an offer, ready to make an offer. An offer is coming your way of stability in the material world. Something to do with some of your careers is moving forward, like an offer for a promotion, an offer of a new way to make money, more business coming in if you own your own business, something like that. But a sol it's a solid offer, a solid offer of love. I mean, you can't, the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups right there. So there's a solid offer of love coming in, or there is a solid offer of love that you are going to be presenting to someone in its time. It's time to open up to this love. It's time to be generous to yourself, compassionate with yourself, bring yourself to a state of balance, and it's time for these new beginnings in love. So this is new beginnings in love being confirmed. The Empress, wow. The Emperor and the Empress, what did I say? True divine partnership coming together. Creating life, birthing into new life, feeling nourished, living the, the life of luxury, together with your true divine partner. This is your wish fulfillment. If you're the masculine, this is going after your empress, your true divine partner, and making it real in the physical. If you're the divine feminine, your wishes are coming true for this emperor, this offer of love that's coming, this stable, grounded offer. Beautiful, gorgeous energy. And this is you coming into full balance with the divine masculine and divine feminine within. Seven of Cups, finally making that decision. I've reviewed everything I've learned. The masculines st might, might still be in review time or really thinking about this logically. The feminine's like, I already know what I want. I already know where we're going. Just look up, honey. Just look up. Just look up to your divine guidance. Just find that truth within because I see it. I see our castle in the sky. We're almost there. We, we've learned our lessons. We're, we're in this together. We're doing this together. You're moving forward together with your true divine partner. Helping others. That's what I feel like. You're going to help others by rising above and in coming into union. Eight of Swords. That's that stress and anxiety, boredom, discontent. Maybe you're ignoring the stress and anxiety. You were ignoring the toxicity that was around you because you were kind of numb to it all, I feel like. But now you're in full reality of what you need to end of truth and clarity and you have your spirit guides that hummingbird coming in to give you that clarity and help you out of this toxicity help you end this finally moving forward moving away from this old life and into the new life you are getting help from spirit with this so go within and find that balance within and if these things pop up the regrets the resentments the anxiety, you know that you have the power to tap into who you really are and, and, and like magic, transform that. The hermit, healing. Being restored, seeing the light, growing spiritually, and you're going to be recognized for this. You're going to be recognized for the work that you put in on yourself, and healing is yours. Six of Pentacles, there you go. You're going to be rewarded. Princess of Autumn, look at that pentacle flying into your hand. And it's like the universe is just blessing you exponentially with some kind of money, some kind of material gain. Someone from the past coming forward. This is that masculine making that offer. See that King of Pentacles? Here I am. Here I am. I'm ready. I'm going to sing to you. I'm going to serenade you. I'm going to court you because you deserve that. Whatever you're studying, whatever you're working on is going to be abundant. Six of Swords. Yeah, that's letting go. Moving forward, fast movement forward to peace, tranquility. See, look at this. How cool is this? Ah, Gemini. Look at you. See, spirit is helping you. Look at that. You're coming out. You're flying out into freedom, away from the darkness, away from the shadows, away from this bothersome energy is what I felt. This is you, peaceful, moving on to calmer waters. 
Oh my gosh, the King of Pentacles again shows up in another deck. Okay, abundance is yours, Gemini. You are an abundant person. You have a lot to offer. If you are the masculine or, you know, you, you tune into those energies more, this is, you are, you have what it takes to offer for this true divine partnership. You have it. You've got it. You're, whatever you're working on work-wise, health-wise, it's all coming into fruition. And if this is the feminine, this is you feeling grounded and stable with the masculine within, but this is a masculine coming into the physical. I mean, this is true divine might. You can't. And it's going to be abundant and both parties willing to put in the effort. Both parties willing to do whatever it takes for this Ten of Pentacles, okay? Queen of Wands. Passion coming in. Creativity. Sacred sexual union. Your sacral chakra being activated. And in this tree right here is a family. So your family is being protected and nourished during these time of change, during these, these new things that are happening. And this is a, a divine feminine. This is you, divine feminine, stepping into your power, taking control, but finding peace with it. No more anger. No more discontent. No more fighting. Just a complete peace with where you're at and who you are. And the divine feminine is ready, ready for this new life, ready to... To, for this rebirth. Balanced. Two of Pentacles. What is balance? Yeah. Balance in the spiritual material world. Balance with your home and family life. Balance with your Pentacles. Balance with all these great ideas that you have. Balance with love. You're just in balance. You're aligned. You're balanced. One more. Three of Pentacles. There we go. Two to the three. You're on the right path. You're on the right path towards your destiny, true divine partnership, coming together, collaborating, and bringing something into the physical that's really abundant, rising above it all, coming to peace and balance with, with the divine masculine, divine feminine within, and your true divine partner. I mean, it's all over the cards. The bottom of the deck is love, opening up to love, the king of cups, expressing your love, the masculine's finally ready to talk and speak his or her love, and look how big this cup is. I am coming for you. I want this love. I might have been slow. It might be take, taking me a while, but I'm ready now. So offers of love, messages of love coming in for you, Gemini. But love is seriously right in front of you. Just open your eyes. It's there. You deserve it. These are the Archangel Animal Oracle Cards by Diana Cooper. They're brand new. It's the first time I'm using them. A gift to you, all of my wonderful peoples. Ooh, shark. Lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. Archangels Metatron and Jolas are with you. I'm not exactly sure how to, how to say that, but um, this is unlocking the power within, connecting to the higher part of you, Leading the way, it's a very powerful time, but you're also at peace in your heart space. So this is that emperor, empress energy. Without a doubt, divine partnerships, focused, driven, but compassionate and loving at the same time. Okay, we're going to read a little bit from the sharks. Feeling this is it, yep. This is the master card of peaceful spiritual warrior. You are called on to strengthen and discipline yourself, claim your power, and act as a calm, wise influence for the highest good of all. To do this effectively, you'll need to develop all five senses to tune in to the needs of those around you. Because you are strong, sensitive, and important, you may have sacrificed yourself in some way for the common good. Your guidance is to examine your life and decide what brings you satisfaction. Bring more of these things into your life so that your wise leadership is found on a feeling of personal contentment. Beautiful energy coming in for you, available to you, true divine partnership, union within yourself, and sharing that sacred bond with another. Healing from old wounds, taking off the mass, rising above, and being blessed for it. I appreciate all of you and the support that you give me on this channel. 
And I wish you many, many blessings in this new year.